we're going to be making a little pop-up scene of a winter wonderland with an igloo and then some other figures. So make sure you have some paper and we'll get started. For today we are just going to draw our igloo. So you will need a piece of, a piece of white paper and a pencil. Now I already drew mine in pencil because there are a lot of tough angles and curves. So I drew it out first in pencil and I'm going to go over it in Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing and I'll walk you through each step. And when I set up my paper, um, it is in front of me like the shower way, but I'm going to draw my igloo more towards the top. I'm not actually going to use the bottom. I'll cut that off later and use that as um, so I can draw other things on that. So let's go ahead and get started. So my igloo is going to go more towards the center, toward, toward top of my paper. And the first thing that I am going to draw is the entrance area. So it is like an upside down U shape or you could think of it like a rainbow. So in sort of in the middle of your paper, maybe off to slightly one side, you're going to draw that big arch, the upside down U shape. And then you're gonna scoot in a little ways and you're going to repeat that and make another one. So the, the one inside is gonna go down slightly farther on one side and up slightly on the other side because we're gonna create a little angle. So we're gonna connect them with a diagonal line on each side so they can see that they both kind of angle down and towards the right. Now we're going to draw the back side of our igloo. Now we're going to find um, kind of almost like a vanishing point. So it's going to be similar to what we do with our one point perspective. So since we don't have a corner here, we're going to start the very top side of our igloo's entrance and we're going to draw a line that goes back um, on a slight diagonal. And now we can use this bottom point to draw up on a slight diagonal. And it's going to go out just a little bit farther than your top line. And then we're going to draw the back of the entrance. Now the front of the entrance is curved, and so the back would be as well. It's parallel to the front, meaning that they are the same line just spread apart. So that's why my top line is a little bit shorter because I'm going to make up for that length in the curve. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to start to kind of go down but also curve out and then um, start to kind of straighten that out and go down to the bottom line. Just like so. So now we have the front and the back parallel to each other so they both have a slight curve. Now let's draw the inside here so that outside line of the bottom of the entrance was a diagonal and so would be the inside. Those are parallel to each other as well. We'll come back to this and add some bricks to it in a little bit, but now let's draw the shape of our igloo where you would spend most of your time in here. So this is a dome shape, so it's a big kind of half circle. So I'm starting over here on the edge of my entrance and I'm going over to the right, up and over to the right, and then back down and I'm going to try to stop at about the same height as the bottom of our entrance there and just connect those with almost a straight line maybe just a slight curve to it. You can see I went a little off here but I can maybe try to fix that with uh, putting a little pile of snow there or something like that. So we can always kind of fix that a little bit later. Now we're going to draw the bricks. So the bricks um, show the construction or how the igloo was built. And we're going to use some of our existing lines to help us figure out where to put them. Now since this bottom line is diagonal, our first line that we're going to draw up above it is also going to be a little bit on a diagonal. And then we're going to continue that as we go up. As we get to the top, we're going to start to follow the top line as we get closer to that. So we want to try to space these apart evenly and pay attention to that. And then now this one is, as we get, this one's still a little bit more towards the bottom. And then we're going to start to kind of angle down. So the angle changes with the curve. Next, we're going to put in some vertical lines that go up and down to show the separate bricks. And we're also going to kind of keep in mind this curved um, entrance here. So as we kind of get more towards the top, we'll start to follow that as well. So help following these lines are going to help us um, understand the construction better. Um, actually, let's first go ahead and put these in. So these are the bricks on the front, and they're going to just kind of line up with the, um, the, for those lines that you just drew. 
and then as we curve around, then we're going to change our direction. So they are kind of curving with the entrance shape. So they kind of go vertical and then they go back to horizontal. And now we can finish up these lines so they're going to match up and line up inside as well. So we would see the bricks inside as well. And again, we're following these lines so they kind of line up. If we were to draw them completely horizontal, they wouldn't look right. So we're going to follow the diagonals and the lines we have. So now we're going to add some bricks. And we have a parallel, or excuse me, a vertical line here. So they're going to be parallel to that. So they're going to pretty much be vertical. Now as we get higher and closer to that curve at the top of our entrance, then they'll start to curve. When you do your next row, you want to stagger them a little bit. If you put them right on top of each other, it's not going to look as interesting. And when you're constructing an actual um, building that uses bricks like this, you would stagger them for strength. So let's keep going up. And like I said, when we get closer to the curve, we'll start to pay attention to that. So right now, we're still pretty much straight. Now on the back side here, we are curving a little bit. So I'm going to start on the right and make that line just slightly curved. So again, these ones that are closer to the top, we are slightly curving those to match the curvature of our entrance area to our igloo. And then we'll do the same concept in here. So these lines are pretty much just going to be straight up and down because we don't really have um, a curve to show because it would be hiding maybe in the next row. We wouldn't see that to the next row. And lastly, we are also going to do our bricks over here on our dome. So I am going to make these bricks just a little bit thicker because it's a bigger space. And then I also just don't want all of my lines to run together. We're still going to be paying attention to the shape and slightly curving our lines as we go up. So I'm going to start with our lines that are going to go straight across. So like I said, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger so that they don't run right into each other. So I'm starting in the middle of that second block and going over. So this has just like the tiniest, tiniest curve down and then up. And then once we get over here, we're going to go all the way across now because we can see it. So it kind of going to start and go slightly down and then back up with your curve. So it's just almost straight, just such a soft, soft curve. When you make it like this, it really helps show the roundness of our dome. And now we're going to do our bricks, the vertical lines, just like that, um, in the front. And then we're going to be paying attention to these curves. So in the center of the igloo, if you're looking straight on at it, or from this angle, they're pretty much going to be straight up and down. The ones in the middle are going to be straight up and down. And the ones on the right side are going to slightly curve off to the right. And the ones on the left side are going to slightly curve off to the left. And then we would do the same thing. So the ones more in the center, right, just straight up and down. And then to the right, you're going to curve. And then you'll just repeat that until you get all the way down to the bottom. So kind of make sure your lines are staggered so they don't bump right into each other. And then curve them off to the appropriate side as you draw them. Now that you have your igloo drawn, I would recommend outlining it with um, a darker color so that you can see your lines much better. We want them to pop off the page. And then you can also start coloring it. So obviously igloos are going to be mostly white, but because we have a blue sky, you might see some blue tones reflected in your igloo. So I just have a piece of scrap paper that I'm testing these colors out on, so I recommend you do the same. Um, if you don't have multiple colors like I do, just use what you have. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils. And I'm just going to kind of um, shade in some areas just to kind of give it um, a little bit of a highlight so it looks a little bit brighter and we can just um, make it look a little more um, dimensional and not so flat. So I'm just kind of shading in um, on one side of the brick and then I'm going to continue that all the way through. So go ahead and make sure your igloo is, is can stand out. Um, we can see it so maybe you outline it and then add a little bit of color to it and then be ready for our next class. You can bring this back but we um, are going to move on to another step for the next day. If you want to add a couple extra details too, you can um, draw in the horizon line, which would be the line that um, shows us where the ground meets the sky, so kind of just a horizontal line, maybe behind your igloo's dome. And then if you wanted to draw in some kind of lumps of snow 
um, around your igloo to kind of just um, break up all of that white and make it more interesting, you could add those details as well.